Hi, welcome to my channel, The Magic of Math. Today, we're going to be shading the intersection to represent the graphs of systems of linear inequalities. So our objectives today are that you will check the solutions of systems of linear inequalities to determine if it's a solution or not. We will graph the linear inequality and then we'll be able to write from a graph the system of linear inequalities. And then hopefully from here on out, you'll be able to use this to apply to solve real world problems. So I want you thinking about what you can use that you already know to graph a system of linear inequalities. And we're gonna draw on that previous knowledge. So first let's understand that a system of linear equalities is a set of two or more linear equalities in the same variables, meaning both inequalities have an X or a Y and they could just be a Y or it could just be an X and it could be more than two. You could have three or four inequalities all on the same coordinate plane. So the solution set of a system of linear inequalities is the area of overlap or the intersection of the solutions of both inequalities. So in a previous lesson, we discussed that a solution to one inequality is a half plane. The solution to a system is the intersection of these half planes. So not the whole half plane, just the portion that intersects. And we'll go over this. So a solution of a system is an ordered pair that's in the solution set. So it's an ordered pair that makes both inequalities a true statement. So if the ordered pair is only true for inequality one, then it's not part of the solution set. It must make it true for inequality one and two. And if you have multiple inequalities for all. So let's start off by checking these solutions. So I have my system of linear inequalities here, and I want to determine if this ordered pair is in the solution set and likewise, if this is in the solution set. So pause, come back and hit play when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. So when we plug in the ordered pair three and five, y is five, x is three, it checks. Five is less than six. Go to the second inequality, replace y with five and x with three. Five is greater than or equal to four, it checks, therefore, this inequality is a solution to the system. Over here, we're going to replace y with 0 and x with negative 2, and we get a false statement. So I can stop right there. I went ahead and showed you that it checked for the second, but it doesn't matter because it failed, and it's a false statement for the first inequality, then this ordered pair is not a solution to the system of inequalities. So here is a graph of a system of linear inequalities, and we can see that we have our blue, this inequality graphed in blue with our dashed line, and here's our shaded blue region to represent the half plane solution to that inequality. And then we have this red solid boundary line that represents this red inequality and the shaded region here that represents the half plane that's the solution area for that. This dark purple area here represents the intersection of the two solutions. You can see this is the part that was shaded blue and also shaded red. And this is right here, the solution set to the system of inequalities. So we go through a process here. Step one, you want to graph each inequality in the same coordinate plane, identifying their half plane solution areas. Step two is you want to find the intersection or the overlap of the solution areas. And that comes to be very clear once you've graphed the second inequality and shaded in its representation, its half plane solution set. Then it's right here. I ask my students to take a third color and shade this area in so that it's clear or they use um, an application and then they have to determine it on paper and they only shade in the solution area. So just make sure that this is a very different color. So again, this, this shaded dark blue area or purple, whatever you want to call it, represents the solution of the system of linear inequalities. So again, just to state, this light blue area and this red area are not part of the solution for the system. 
okay? It was just part of the process of getting there. So your turn. I would like you to graph the system. And again, let's review. You're going to graph each inequality, shading in their solution, their half-plane solutions, and then the part that intersects, overlaps, is going to be your solution set. Good luck. Come back and hit play when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. So I'm going to graph y less than or equal to 3 in blue and y greater than x plus 2 in red. So here we have this horizontal line passing through the y-axis at 3. It's a solid line because it's equal to and we've shaded below because it's less than. Then I'm going to graph this inequality in red. It'll be a dashed line because it's greater than y-intercept of 2, slope of 1, my dashed line greater than, so I've shaded above the line, all in red. And you can see this purple area right here represents my solution. And you could check this as your test point if you were nervous and know that when y is 1, 1 is indeed less than or equal to 3. When y is 1, it, 1 is greater than negative 1, so therefore it checks and verifies that this is the solution set for the system of inequalities. Let's try another one. Please pause and come back and hit play when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. So, again, I've graphed this inequality in blue. It's a dashed line because it's less than, shaded to the left because it's less than. This one's shaded in red, also with a dashed line because it's greater than, shaded into the right because it's greater than. And you'll notice that there's no overlap. So this means that there is no solution that is, um, this system has no solution because there is no solution that is true on the coordinate plane for either of these inequalities. So you can represent it as long as you've color coded the lines like I have here, but I would write the words no solution for your teacher so that you know that you're identifying for sure, you're recognizing that there is no solution. All right, now I want you to write the system. What is the system of inequalities represented by this graph? Please pause, come back and hit play when you're ready to check your system. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. So I have the solid line right here is a horizontal line passing through the y axis at negative 2 and it's shaded above so I know it's going to be greater than. You could test a point above, 0, 0 is above, 0 is greater than or equal to negative 2 so I know that that's accurate. So that's my first inequality. Then my second I have a y-intercept of 0 and a slope of 1, so 1x plus 0, which is y and x plus 0, so in slope-intercept form. I know it's either going to be less than or greater than. I can't check 0, 0 because that's on the boundary, so I'm going to check 2, 1. So when y is 1, is 1 less than 2? It is indeed. So therefore, my boundary line is y is less than x. You can also see it's shaded in below. And that represents my system of inequalities. Let's try another one. Please write the system of linear inequalities that represent this graph. Pause, come back, and hit play when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. So right here, we have a solid line. So we know we're going to have an equal to. And I'm passing through the y-axis, y-intercept of 1. My slope is rise negative 1, run 2, so a slope of negative 1 half. And this is shaded above, so I know it's going to be greater than. This line right here passes through the y-axis at negative 3, and it has a slope of rise 2, run 1, so my slope is positive 2 and it's shaded on right here so I know that it's less than, it's somewhat below the line. Or you could test a point, maybe 3, 1, test 3, 1 in there, and 1 is less than um, 3, so it checks, and we could put that in here as well, 
and it checks. So there is our system of inequalities. So let's shading the intersection for solution sets for systems of inequalities. I hope you enjoyed our lesson today. Please subscribe to my channel and have a great day.